balance being spread. It's like warm butter across the bread. Smooth, I know you like that. Flow with the grain and don't fight that. You want righteous love, you found the right match. With Marty McFly, they on the right track. Yeah, got a deep dirt to plant the seed. Spread roots till you sprout like a tree. Danny Jones, see the one you want to see. Danny Jones live, this is what you want to be. It's Danny Jones live, Danny Jones live. Welcome to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. And I am that guy, Marty McFly, trying to make it do what it do on a beautiful day. You are making it do what it do. It's a gorgeous day outside. And if you're outside and you need some tree work done, give us a call at 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. I'm talking about if you need tree work and you're in the Atlanta area, area yep give me a call if you're not in the atlanta area you know right and if, you, if you're in the hood area the if you're in the hood area she comes over there i go if everywhere in the ghetto area the upscale area she's I go gonna everywhere. work it out in fact uh-huh. a lot of my customer base is what you consider the hood i don't consider <laughs> the, hood, the hood i consider them the community a lot of my work is in the community you know why because Cause... i proudly serve the community because i love my People. You so if my people you, need some tree you, work, you used to say you probably serve the underserved, right? Yeah, that's what I say. I probably serve the underserved. And the reason why I say that uh-huh. is because there's a lot of times when people from our community mm-hmm. call tree services or plumbers or construction people, they go, Oh, we don't service that area or we don't service that zip code. And I'm like, Really? Our money is green just like somebody else's money right. is green. So and, and, I and, want yeah. to serve our community. And I'm not so, mad yeah. about that. You know, so if you got a little bit of change and you need some tree work done yes it's a call. <laughs> no honestly it's a call. even if you don't have that much money she will work something out i for try you. to work with people i yeah. really do i yeah. really do now we ain't the cheapest tree service in town but we do try to work work with people and and take care of their trees and stuff like that but what's going on in your world man you know um um the regular rotations actually i just came back from a wonderful retreat um learning about um disasters you know because oh, we have okay. disasters that happen all the in Georgia all the time. Yeah. And um, just, you know, for my church community and um, just the, the, the area that I service, yeah. you know, what do you do when a disaster happens and how do yeah. you prepare for it? You know, yeah. what's like, who's on first, who's on second? Yeah. And like for ministers, you know, if something happened in your, in your area, do you have a contact list of saying, mm. okay, let me call so-and-so and if I don't hear from her, make sure I have their emergency contact number. Yeah. Or if um, we need to house people, what does that look like? Mm. You know, so I just went on a whole little um, retreat learning about how to help and service people. You That's know? awesome. So, yes, That's, but you know what? Because we were talking about um, ideas. Like for those of you that don't know, you know, if you're new to the show, we do the show every week. And we have certain segments um, that we do. And we have certain themes to certain segments. Mm-hmm. But what you just said actually made me kind of rethink our third segment, which is where we usually talk a little bit about entrepreneurship or something. Yes. But you uh-huh. were talking about what do you do in an emergency? What do you do? How are you set yeah. up to be able to deal with certain things when you have emergencies in, their, in your uh-huh. life? And I think a lot of times with companies, they don't necessarily think about that. So I'd love to talk about that. You know that. what? That's going to um, be great because, you know, I thing. was thinking, I was thinking in our third segment where we talk about entrepreneur stuff like that, about working together and like doing partnerships, yeah. you know, and, yeah. you know, your company and your, another company might be working together, but it goes along with that because even in disaster ministries, you know, I have churches that are around my church. Yes, yes. We might not be in the same denomination, but we are in the same faith in the sense of helping people. Yeah. So it's like, why can't I uh, make a a, a partnership or organization with the church up the street that has a food pantry that we might not service, but I can send people up there and just say, okay, hey, in a disaster crisis, can I call you and say, hey, we, we, you know, we need, some food delivered here yeah, or can yeah. we, you know, or you're basically yeah. just working together. So that's a, I think that'd be a good topic. Cause sometimes I think that'll people... be a really good ta- topic, yes. you know, and I think people do need to get their house in order because things do happen and you do need things like FEMA and you do need emergency services yes, you do. and you do need ministry and stuff like that. Right, And you, you know? do need tree companies that come out and do stuff for free. That's yes. right. And if your house gets crushed, you just call Tyler Perry. There you go. Wait, why are you going to talk about Tyler? Perry? What he don't he didn't got a tree company. I probably I probably should not put that out there like what, that. I'm just okay, Tyler. I'm sorry. I'm just why, why would I'm you just even playing. bring that? No, like, let me tell you, you what happened. Call Tyler. No, let me tell you what happened for real. Okay. On a for real note. So I'm cleaning this up, Tyler. So because I want you coming after me. Okay. <laughs> 
So a few years ago, we did a job and we had got a call from one of the media stations from the news stations in the community in the, uh-huh. uh, in Atlanta. And so they wanted us to come out and see if we could help this lady who had a tree fall on her house and she didn't have insurance and she was elderly and her you know family didn't right. really have a way to help her, help take care of her. So we went ahead and took care of the tree. And in my mind, I'm like, OK, well, what's she going to do about this house? Yeah. And come to find out Tyler Perry not only helped her uh, with the house, he re- had it rebuilt. He paid that is for wonderful. everything. I mean, it was on the news and stuff like that. So just, you know, give a little shout out to Tyler okay, Perry okay. for I always give, serving the props community. To Tyler, Tyler. Oh, yeah. So I'll give, yeah. You, I'll give you props. And if you need any other extra work, Mr. Perry, just holler at us. You know, holler. we'll cut your tree or trim a bush That's or right. do something. We'll do something. We'll do something. Work it out, work it out. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I will give Tyler uh, props because, you know, he's one of them that I've, I've said this in the past. And when he first was kind of coming out with a lot of the plays and everything, I was a hater. I'm going to lie. I was hating. Really? You know what I'm saying? Because he was doing okay. so many How of them. How can you hate on Tyler? Well, you can hate, you know, because, you know, people look at a certain... At certain times, people look at, at the way that you present yourself. Right. Um, negative, you know, right. and I was a lot younger and I would say a lot more mature, I mean, immature. Yeah. Um, but you would listen to some of the media stuff. It's like, right. well... Why does he have to make money, you know, dressing up in a dress, you know, right, putting right. a dress on? Right. Um, why does he um, perpetrate the African-Americans in this kind of way? You know, right. you always got someone that's really, really goofy and was like slapstick funny. Right, right. Um, those kind of a- avenues. Yeah. But then later on, reading his story, learning from yes. him, I'm like, you know what? That guy, Yeah. <coughs> excuse me, um, right. had tenacity and heart and stood on his face that's and right. believed in himself. That's right. And kept pushing. Mm. You know, um, I, I think I heard this phrase the other day. Um, commitment will get you started, but consistency will get you th- to the finish line. Can you write that you know, down someplace? I, I, if I can remember it again, I will. I write but that no, down. You know, him, him being committed to actually do the plays, mm-hmm. but consistent to get to the victory, That's to right. his goal. That's you know? right. That's so I right. give him, you know, extra, extra. I want to give him props, extra, seriously. Extra props. And, and I think one of the things for me, I actually found out about Tyler Perry through my sister, my sister Ruth, who is now passed. Um, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. And, um, but when she first moved to Atlanta, she would always have, this was back in 2000, 2009, 2008 or nine. And so she had these videos, you know, uh-huh. these DVDs. And so she would pop them in and it was like these stage plays and stuff like that. With right. Tyler I think, and hers were not bootleg. I'm just saying they were yeah, not. That's how he got his name so, out there with the bootleg. Ones, okay. Well, maybe they, uh, they weren't. Yeah, okay. Most likely. But anyway, the, <laughs> go ahead, but go ahead. Yeah, saying nothing, man. Well, it had a sticker on it. It had like the, mm-hmm. the Tyler Perry. Don't call sticker. Tyler sticker. No, it was like the real <laughs> sticker. So I'm thinking it was legit. So and it was in a case. So I would watch those, and I saw how inspiring they were, and how it reminded me of people in our community, whether it's my grandma, or my aunts, or uncles, or different relationships in our community that the mainstream media don't talk about. So uh-huh. I actually appreciated that. And they talked a lot about faith and I'm just going, and you're a man of God. So I can, mm-hmm. I can say this with full confidence. It just seems to me that we need to get back to our roots. I mean, I don't care what a person believes in, but there seems to be a turning away from really getting back to people's faith. However, that looks to you. And I feel like with Tyler Perry and his message was that your faith is important. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And leaning on those traditional values that we actually had to lean on to get through what we went through in this country. I, I think that's important, you know, and I, yeah. I think we need to lean on those values. And so, Tyler, I want to yeah, give, give you a high five. I give you a high five and a prop. Thank you for bringing yeah. those. Um, and, you know, creating an avenue for other African Americans. Yeah. You know, he, he opened jobs. up Hollywood to, you know, and it's funny because he even said one time, you know, everybody in the urban or black community knew him. Yeah. But he go- goes out to Hollywood and they're like, who are you? Yeah. You know, yeah. you're Tyler, Tyler yeah. P, who, yeah. you know, yeah. and it's like trying to reinvent itself to, to Hollywood. Yeah. You know, so it's like, I, I, I give you props, you know. Right. Well, he point. also said something about, you know, we were all trying to, you know, get the, like back in Hollywood, everybody was trying to get a quote unquote seat at the table. Right. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to go make my own table. That's me. And that's, I'm like, that's you something go, that I do. Tyler. I, I, I like, you I want to make my own. Yeah. You know, it's like, I don't want to be accepted. I don't want right. to be discovered. And I you don't want to be tolerated. Be, yes. You I want to be I celebrated. I want to make my own and, yeah. you know, have my own, um, um, 
voice that say, you know, I can say no. Or, that's right. Yeah, so anyway. That's right. That so I just, so. I, I just, you know, I want to give him, give him his props. But we didn't get a chance to talk about what how our week has been. And I just want to tell you that that's I am right. finally recovered from my little injury, you know. Oh, that's right. Your, 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 yeah. your uh, skateboard, not right. skating, but snowboarding in, in, yeah. injury. It was not snowboarding. It was skiing. Well, yeah, okay, so, well. yeah. So I'm actually feeling better. I honestly thought that I had either broke something, ruptured something, or done something because I. Did you go to the doctor not. to get it checked out? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I did not go uh-huh. to the doctor Bruh. because I went to a massage therapist. Oh, they 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 know okay. more. That, yeah, they 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 could have diagnosed that on. quickly. Hold on. And I did also a went ending? to an energy What? Did you give her a happy ending? No, we don't, I don't go to those kind the fact Bruh. that you even say that, Bruh. what? No, the fact that you would it scares just, me. That means you've been to one of those places. Not necessarily. So I went to a massage therapist, and then I went to an energy, a lady that works with energy and and healing and stuff like that. Uh-huh. With the and she uses natural um, type of tech, techniques, special kind of techniques to <laughs> to. Um, no, no, no. I'm so saying, anyway, she uses special, kind, of special kind of techniques uh. to work on your body so that if you're out of alignment or if you have some type of muscular injury. This the juicer? Said to, I'm just trying to make sure that I missed something because you said this my, is, the juicer is telling you how to do this. No, right? it wasn't the juicer. That's a different person. Oh, okay. I got a lot of naturopathic stuff going on. But anyway, uh-huh. I feel amazing. I feel a lot better. And I just want to tell you that. But anyway, but how was yours? How was your weekend? Like Clearly, you don't better than mine. No, you you the one getting massages <laughs> with happy endings. What did I even say that? You did literally I, just said, "Did I get a massage with a happy ending?" Right. Just, and, I'm saying. For, you, wait a minute. You're, First you're, of all, we're on. You're in, you're in the what the mountains, snowing, skiing, being, skiing yeah. and you're living a different kind of lifestyle. You got your, you know, you but, said you had some pains and everything. You I got did. a mas- and I didn't want to and know. Did I you feel happy at, at the end of it? I felt happy at the end, but okay, I didn't yeah. happy. Right, right, right. Did we... you did you feel happy at the oh end? Oh my god! You want to say, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, uh, I didn't feel Marty, happy. You got to be mindful of the fact that we are on. That's what I'm saying. Some of the stations that we're on. Are That's religious. why I'm trying to see why you're talking about the other aspect of it. <laughs> you know, and he's like they did just special techniques to just they make me feel special good. Techniques, and I do feel a lot better. But regardless, we, I think we only got a minute or so. What? 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 How was your I, I week? I told That's you what I, I did. I said I dealt with disaster stuff. I didn't get no massages and. Yeah, but you it, said you when I called you, you said you were busy, but that you had a break, and that right. And during that break, off. I was at that training thing, and it was good. It was. It you was nice. Right. You know, I already explained what, what we went through of learning about how to help with people's disasters. And, but yes, um, I think it's, is it about time for us to take a break or yeah, something? I don't think so. It's, it's like another minute, dude. So you better think of something. Okay. I, I, I don't know. Well, um, I, I will say I, I learned, like I said, about helping with people in disasters and did those people get happy? Hey, you know, actually, a lot of them, they did. You yeah. know, they got their houses and places, you know, fixed You know what's up, so funny? Some a... people probably don't even know what the heck we talk. Because yeah. we're on religious stations. They're probably going, I don't oh, understand goodness. what they mean. But we're currently on a religious station. I think we're going to take we, a break we, now. because We're going to definitely take a break here. and change the subject. You're listening to Donnie, you know, right now. And um, we'll be and back. Marty McFly, <laughs> also known as Marty Ringer. Yes. You um, call him if y'all have a complaint. I'm going to just go pray for a minute. Speaking of which, give us a call at one 888 Three four nine Donnie. That's one eight 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 three four nine three six six four. And give us a few comments about the show. Yes. We're gonna take a quick break. I'm just gonna pray we'll for be a little while. Right back. Yep. <laughs> Now when the weather starts to change, the branches start to fall, who you gonna call? Don Tree Service! If it's looking kinda weak and it's looking kinda bleak, who a tree specialist call? Don Tree Service! If the trees in your yard are just too tall, who you gonna call? Don Tree Service! Hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service on a Monday. They were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. 
If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous, on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donniejoneslive.com. Welcome back, welcome back to Donnie, welcome back, welcome back to Donnie Jones Live. I'm a little early there, right now. Just a little. Do not eat potato chips in between sets. In between sets. 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 Did yeah. I say sets? Sound. I just want to make sure it sounded like sets. You know, because you don't need to eat potato chips. Between, yeah. Anyway, Donnie, you know, I, I was over here in the conversation. Oh, yes. That you, with that the T on the end. Yeah. Um, the conversation. Uh, one of the, um, I guess, tree workers. And this is a, huh? Between me and one of the tree professionals. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. You go, yeah. Yeah. That's a good way of saying it. Um, but I, I was overhearing. You ask him about the curvy tree, and you yes. know, can you, can you, can you correct the curve in the tree? Mm -mm. You, you, you no. Gotta... What happens is it starts growing that way, uh -huh. uh, either because it's growing away from something, or it's growing, or, or it's searching for sunlight. So yeah, there's. You really know, it's no... interesting. Like I was saying, I, I went to a retreat, and the retreat was out in Telapusa, Georgia, and you know, in the woods, every once in a while, I would see a tree that was growing oddly yeah you know it, it'll take like a right turn almost mm -hmm. and then go up <clears throat> and i'm like okay now i i know that's not natural well it seems no, like believe it's not it or natural not, it but is. i know they're looking for that stimuli in yeah. a sense the the water or the sunlight and everything that's right. but if if a tree is in your yard and starts growing that way is there a way that you can i guess guide it into if it's the a young grain? tree yeah if it's a young tree you okay. can you can kind of try to redirect it or you can try pruning it thank you for asking about trees because i'm supposed right. to be talking about trees at right. some point during so our trail I, I try to earn my paycheck you and do. keep you focused a little go on with your bad self yes, i'm gonna start so paying I, I them too. Need the payment yeah. so exactly <laughs> <laughs> but no but, um, um 
But yeah, it's uh, there's different type of tropisms trees can have, like phototropism, geotropism. Wait, 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 wait. Tropism. Uh, tropisms. Okay, just assume that I don't know a whole lot about okay. trees. What's a tropism? It's, it's the causality of something. Right. So, so you're going to throw phototrop- another word out there. No. you just so, trying now. Uh, no, no. So, just for example, out. phototropism is if it's growing towards light. Geotropism, okay. it's growing away from something. So stuff like okay. that. So. If a tree is young, like it's a little sapling or something, and it starts mm-hmm. growing the wrong way, you could probably, you know, get it restaked or something like that. But if it's a mature tree, you know, you can try pruning it, you know, or something like that. But for the most part, you can't do anything with no. an old tree, a, like old, an old dog old, or an old person. Because I'm thinking, well, like, pruning you know, always helps, but you know, yeah, I'm just thinking about like my marriage and stuff. She might grow towards me or grow away from me depending on the stimuli. I but once you was. But when she goes to a, I am doing good, but I just know that she's an old tree now. I can't prune her no way no more. <laughs> I can't guard it. It's just I got what I got. You got you what know? I got. You now, got what I got. Spent me 17 years ago when we started out. Okay. I could have put some pegs in there. Can you believe it's 17 years? Does it feel like 17 uh, trust years? Trust me, I can believe it. I can feel it. I, Mine's I is 19 it. years. Yeah. yeah, but you know what I love about that? We two people of color that are in beautiful Ooh. long-term relationships. Oh, me and you. Yes. And people always talk about how, you know, black love is this and ain't that or whatever. But you know what? Mm. Black love stands strong when we do the work. But speaking of black love. Yeah. And loving one another and treating each other kind. I love my wife. You know what was Uh, in the community? This actually has nothing to do with relationships. Well, actually, in a way, it does. You know the hot topic now is Chris Rock, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Christopher Rock and his little special, his Uh stand-up special. You know what? I will... I gotta, to I, gotta, I gotta give Chris a little bit of props for me, okay? Because majority of Chris's, I guess, career with me, yeah, he's really not been that funny. You know, whoa, I mean, he's been, he's been for me, and I'll say this for me, for me, he's been that giggle funny. You know, like really? doing the stand ups, it'd be a, a few. <laughs> no, cool. see, I've always thought he was laugh out loud. No, funny. no, no. But on this special, nah, I thought nah. that he went hard. Like he went hard. Yes, but. To me, some of it was a little corny, but I, well, I would love to have him on the show. So. Well, I, will, I will say this. You know, I think with celebrities, after a while, after you grow up, after you get mature, there's certain things that it's not, you're not going to be the, the old funny that you used to yeah. be because now right. some of your topics are different. So you what know, you're saying is this funny was funnier to you than his old funny. Than some of his older funny stuff. You okay, know, but I'm surprised. But I think that it's more... You know, who, who said it? You know, actually, Andre 3000 said it on an interview you with him. quote Andre 3000. Okay, go ahead. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Yeah. That's a bigger name than, yeah. Okay. okay. Andre 3000 was saying, you know, when you develop and evolve, you know, you can't really rap about the same things no more. And you right. can't really d- tell the same jokes. He's like, do That's I, true. am I going to rap about AARP now? You know, I'm right, taking my right. kids to school now. Right. Certain things is, is irrelevant now to my audience. So at the same time, you have Cat Williams that do a stand up and he still want to talk about sex. Right. And it's like, dude, that's, that's a lot of yeah. people are kind of old. Now, um, Chris is talking about, well, you yeah, have spoiled my kids. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people in my circle that yeah. can relate to that. They've spoiled their kids. Yeah. And it's like, OK, well, you, did you call it Dennis for the horse? Really? Yeah. You know, oh, oh, um, I see what you're saying. You know, but yeah. that's more relatable because now I can relate to people of that generation right, and right. that age. So, yeah, in the longer spectrum for someone that's 25 or 30. Yeah. He's not as funny. You know, because certain okay. things didn't so connect you're to you. You're more relatable to him now. That, but right. see, you were that age back then. I was and, that age back then. But you're saying he wasn't relatable to you. He wasn't Why as that? funny. He wasn't as funny. You know, I, I, I say that he wasn't as funny to me back then. Okay. This time, I guess it was more of a mature comedy. No, I didn't. I didn't. My side wasn't hurting at the, after right. this comedy. Yeah, it wasn't side splitting. Yeah. But I tell you, I, I just love the fact that he talked about stuff that I feel needs to be talked about. Yes. You know, some of the stuff yeah. we might get into, some of it we might not, not. You know, I, I, but um but I felt like him talking about racism, you oh, know, yeah. and that some stuff that we call him racist ain't really racist. Right. You know, some of the right. stuff I that, agree. you know, we're, like, I'm not a victim. You know, uh-huh. it's like a lot of times progressives like to come into our community and all, we're always a victim of this and we're always a victim of right. that. How about we start coming into our community or actually stay out of our community? That's a whole nother thing. Mm-hmm. And, and let us fix the stuff that we need to fix. But they always want to come into our communities and tell us what we don't have and how they got the answer. Right. And I'm, I'm and that's not empowering to a people. Well, What's it's not, it's not a, it, it, but he's a comedian. Right, but I'm saying he 
Right. Oh, I liked his message. Like I'm his talking message. about other I people. I got you. I, I like the you. fact that he called out other people yeah. that are always acting like the victim or trying to make somebody mm-hmm. as a victim and stuff like that. When sometimes it's just, you know, stuff happens. You stuff know? happens. Right. And, and, I, and I, so that's one of the things I did like about the I, special. I, I appreciate that. And, you know, sometimes little, little nuggets that, you know, certain people may or may not like, but he was like, hey, I've kept myself in good you know, health. I've worked out. Yeah. You know, so don't be mad at me if I get someone that looks good at a there younger you go. age. There you go. I have, and the people that are around me have not. Exactly. You know, exactly. I think, you know, really, um, I'm sitting there watching it with my wife and certain things where she's like, when he's like, the difference between dating a 25-year-old versus a 45-year-old. Come on now, you know, preach. 25, they're happy with the simple stuff. Yeah. The shoes, a purse. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The people that I'm around, yeah, they need their roof fix. Yeah. They do got a car. You know, yeah. they do got some stuff. Yeah. That's a re- relatable, understandable. And that right. was funny to me. Now, when he got into the Will Smith aspect of it, I was cool. He, he had to vent, you know. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. And I'm not he mad went, at it. That's when I say he went hard. Right. Some of the other stuff, I was like, okay, it was funny, but not as funny as some of his other things. But I yeah. feel like it needed, to, some of the stuff he said needed to be said. Yeah. Now, I got to tell you, dude. I love Will Smith and I love Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. I don't know how Will is going to react to this because he talked, even the part where he talks about, you know, all of us have been cheated on or all of oh, us yeah. have been through stuff. That, that's the truth. But then, you know, we don't get interviewed by the person that, <laughs> right, you know, that cheated on us. Right? Exactly. That and I was, was like, stupid. Did you see those interviews? I did. Yeah, and that I was did. Stupid. But see, it's one of those things when you, when you become the victim and you put your information out there and then you want to say, well, he's always been picking on us. Right. Wait, hold on, brother. Yeah. That wasn't my info. You was going through something with her yes. and y'all needed to deal with that. But now, since you did this, it's more highlighted. Right. When you, it, it, this didn't help your career coming up it to didn't. hit me. It didn't. You know, it, and it, actually, uh-huh. the part where he said, you know, everybody called him a B. Everybody right. said he yes. was a B. It everybody right. did it, did it, it was yeah. a B. You know, I tried to call him. He didn't answer my phone call. Right. But then yes. other people were saying this about him, and he a B this and a B that. Uh-huh. He goes, you know what? You slap a guy that's as small as I am, you are. You are. So you I'm know, like, wow. And it's like, you know, I can't beat you. That's that's one of those things that you really hear from a man to say yeah. out loud. I can't beat this guy. Yeah. He knows I can't beat him, but you're going to take you know, you're... And you're right there at the Oscars. At the Oscars. Mm. You know, and, and what do you say, selective rage or yeah, whatever? selective rage, yeah. You know, that you're going to come up here, hit me, walk back, knowing that, for one, I'm in a situation that I'll belittle myself for trying to fight back. Right. You know, right. it doesn't look good for us as a people for me to fight back. Yeah. You know, why would you do this? Yeah. You are a B. Right. And the other thing is, Okay, people can say that, you know, he was having a little bit of an out-of-body experience. Everybody goes through stuff. But let me tell you something, Marty, and we've talked right. about this, and we'll, we we may not necessarily in-depth talk about it because we're actually on, starting to be on the other side of it. I've been through stuff. These yeah. last few months have been some challenges and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I can tell you right now, I ain't hit nobody. Well, I ain't you know hit nobody that I can I talk about it. You know, yeah. Don't, don't just let it go. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. So I hit <laughs> anybody, uh-huh. you know. So you you do have to go back to the fact that you're like, wait a minute, this is the Will Smith that we all know right. and love, and we just haven't seen that. Aspect we haven't of seen this. that aspect right. of him. So right. and, you and, know, and, you know, everybody has their person who they are at home in their private place, and you try not to let that shine. But you know, that's like, just I'm it. A, I'm I don't a, think that is who he is at home. I think he just exploded. And no, couldn't... I, 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 uh, no, you know, when you do something like that in public, it's a lot of that person in private. You know, oh. it's a, it, it doesn't come like I'm just I'm a new person at this moment that I'm going to come up here and you slap somebody. No, that. you've had rage at home. You know, really? you've had rage in certain places. I'm saying even though I'm a pastor, I'm a minister, who I am at church is one thing. However, yeah. every blue moon, they'll call me out on something. So, well, he did say a lot of times this persona that he has as yeah. Will Smith, the sunny guy, the mm-hmm. cool guy, the swaggy yeah. guy. He mm-hmm. said it is a persona, oh, which yeah. means that I guess at home, I, I guess I didn't think about the mm. word rage, right? But maybe that is one of his his issues. Right. A lot, and a lot of celebrities understand you. What's on TV and what you see is what is taped, video recorded, edited, and approved. Yeah. to be seen. 
Mm. Now, when you're behind closed doors, I'm saying I've worked with some 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 really national celebrities, you know, producing them yeah. in a radio, and I cannot stand them. That wow. personality, who they are. Yeah. But when they get on the radio and they cut the mic, when they cut the mic on, it's like, hey, I'm so and so, so and so, and today is a great day, yeah. and everybody calls in and loves them, and they're saying yeah. the right thing, and then they cut it off, and then they're real butt. Wow. On the other side. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, yeah, I, I don't. Like you. Like so, bottom line, you did like the special, and you actually liked it more than I, I, his I old stuff. It. Yeah, I okay, like, and deal. I think that it gave his. Well, I definitely, his I voice. definitely liked it. Um, like I said, I just compared to like bigger and blacker and all of that kind of sort of batter yeah, and black yeah. whatever. But anyway, guys, if you have a comment or if you want to tell us how you felt about the show, um, give us a call. Specifically, you know yes. the the Chris Rock neck. Like special, yeah. uh -huh. give us a call, one 349 donnie That's one 888 Turn your volume up. It's time for Donnie Jones Live with Donnie Jones and Marty McFly. It's time to tune in and grab a seat. Full for thought, you in for a treat. Hot topics, knowledge being spread. It's like warm butter across the bread. Smooth, I know you like that. Flow with the grain and don't fight that. You want right to love, you found the right match. With Marty McFly, they on the right track. Yeah, gotta dig the dirt to plant the seed. No, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service on a Monday. They were here in just a few days. The price was right. The staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So, hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company, and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold and your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book from Failure to Fabulous on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donniejoneslive.com. Yes, 
Yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. And I am that guy, Marty McFly. You know, Donnie, you know, I, I, I've heard a few times about the slap, which was pretty much a year ago now. Okay, yeah. You know, a few people have, have criticized Chris right. for taking the blow. And he didn't retaliate back and he just kind of, you know, but I got to be honest in, 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 in his defense. Okay. Okay, because I'm a, for when I'm smaller. You're a smaller yeah. guy. But at the same time, I've been on stage many times yeah. in different different arenas. And a lot of times when you're on stage and the lights are in front of you, you can't see. Mm. You can't see people's faces. You can't yeah. see the audience. And, yeah. you know, and sometimes you don't expect somebody to come up there and slack the taste out your mouth. You know, exactly. And 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 that night, you know, think about you're on this big and national. Will Packer, I think it was Will Packer that yes, produced it. Right, He's right, trying right. to okay, how is this going to affect it's a beautiful two black men? Uh, but they fighting. don't. But see, the, the thing is, they don't know about this yet. Right. Think about that that moment. You know, he makes the the statement, and you know, people laugh. And then I see, you know, in a sense, a figure coming up. You know, on me. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this figure is making a joke with me right if it's a part of the bit you know what's really going on yeah. uh -oh, you know and and then look at his body language he leans in yeah he leans in like okay what, Wait, what's, what's up what's, dude yeah. what's up dude you know what's what's about to happen and you get hit and it's like okay what the heck just yeah happened? yeah okay when i was in high school and i actually preached about this two weeks ago when i was in high school it was an old girlfriend that i had Right. You know, and I hadn't seen her in a while, you know, because we, we had broken up. But I saw her. It was after a football game. And I, I I touched her on her shoulder, you know, just to say how she turned around and slapped the fire out of me. Just pow for no wow. reason. And wow. at that moment, all I could do was just sit back down in my booth. You know, and they kind of figure out, like, wait a minute, what, what the heck, the heck just, just happened? happened? Yeah. You know, now the whole Arby's is laughing at me right now, you know, because nobody's expecting this. Yeah, yeah. And I sit back down, and yeah, later on, they could have called me a B, you know, mm. or, because I didn't fight right. this girl right in the middle of Arby's. Well, first of all, thank you for not fighting a girl. Right, right. But, but see, in that kind of situation, a, a young man does not win. That's right. Because if I. If I don't retaliate back, oh, he a B. Mm. He's a punk. Yeah. If I hit back, oh, you hit a woman. You're like a punk. There's, it's not a win-win situation. There's not a win-win. So it's like this on a stage like that, That the, this is live. Yeah. This is live, and yeah. it's supposed to be, in a sense, black excellence. And I just get slapped in the face on national yes. TV. Yeah. What should my response be as the host? Because I'm like, this... This isn't scripted. This isn't. Well, this isn't natural. It's not natural, and it's. And, and actually, I think until you're uh -huh. in that situation, you can't say how you would react. Right, and most people you really gave can't. Chris during that time, most people gave Chris more compliments and respect. Yes, because absolutely. He still held himself absolutely professional. Now, if this was two chains, that would be a know, different story. It'd be a little bit different. They would have pulled the gun out, then you know. And yeah, go, absolutely. But also, my issue was also. Chris did not think of, th this was the first time an African American had produced. Yes. The, uh, the, the, uh, it, it was just right. like, really, man? Really, dude? You, you know, make us look bad on know, this like, one. Even as, as you're enraged, you're upset with Chris, but you've got all of Hollywood royalty sitting there, right? Right. You even got Denzel over in the cop over there. Right. You're up for an award. And you can't hold your senses enough to go, or to, or to pull the dude aside, aside at the end, like be like, man, that wasn't cool. And that's that's why people would say you a B. Because here's the thing: when you want to pick a fight, you don't pick a fight in front of the teachers where you can easily get broken up. Come on now, you, know, oh, you, know, you don't get into a oh, fight where saying. security is there. Yeah, you yeah. you 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 call that brother later yes. on. You yes. know, after the show in the corner, yeah. like, let me holler at you. Yeah, let me holler yeah. at you. you know? No, you, you if you scream, it's going to still take about yes. five to ten minutes before somebody get here. That's right. You yeah. know, that's a real you yeah. know person is like, okay, I want to handle this. Yeah. You get up there with the lights with everybody. But not only that, be, he's no. an athlete. I mean, Will Smith right. is an athlete, kind of, sort of. Yeah, you know what I mean? Brother. He's built. He's you know what I'm brother, saying? Yeah. I mean, you look at Chris Rock. It's 
Come on. Come on. Like you said, he would have been better off, honestly, uh-huh. if he would have used his words. Like yes. if he would have shell like threw if something he out there. Used it was, his you words. Know, you know, because yeah, you was gonna you was gonna have the mic anyway. Exactly. If you had to use your words during that time. Like while his say. acceptance speech says right. something right, like G.I. James, right. Even, you could be, you know, I'm gonna make you my G.I. Oh, whatever any kind of funny which way thing you could have done it. Yeah. Would have been better, yeah. but that's why he said, you know, Will's issue and his hurt really wasn't on Chris. Yeah. It was really, wait a minute, my wife been playing games with my son's best Real. friend. You know, you've been playing those yeah. special special. You've been playing hide and go get it with my son's I best know. friend. Also, I oh hold on, the last person I be defending. Also, oh, I'm like, shoot. I'd still be sitting here for going. I don't care what they say about you. We we not even over that thing you just we, did, right? Did you and you want to interview me? Yeah, about you? yeah. Only, How'd you and feel? then you had high ratings. Like. <laughs> Because everybody was saying, how stupid can this woman be? How stupid and he's can forever you? a meme. Like that oh, yeah. crying video, even though yeah. he said he wasn't crying, he had hay fever or allergies or something, whatever. Uh, if, but anyway. if I, And I'm, I'm sad because we on um, religious stations, no, we, so I can't we, say what I want to say. But I, I'd be upset, too, if you did what with his what? Yeah. In my house? Yeah. That's the other thing. <laughs> It's the so house he time. pays for. Just it's the, the lifestyle he built. Uh-huh. It's the friend of the son that like, I'm, they I'm, gave I'm birth sorry. to. It, 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 she like, I'm, 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 I'm just saying she would have lost her head and it wouldn't be for the disease. That, it, it would, I would, uh-huh. I'm just saying. Hold on now. I would, <laughs> but here's the other thing. You know, there's nobody but saying pulling. too much. Unless I'm not watching and looking at the, I'm looking at the wrong blogs or something like that. Uh-huh. And I know we got to get to another subject. I don't want to tire this subject out, but... I don't hear a whole lot about her. Like, uh, well, she, you know, she, uh, she 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 came out with a post, I think, last week towards the end of um, with this week, and then her son Jaden wanted to come out and make a, a statement too about you know him. People calling my mama the b word and this this and they. And I'm like, oh, hold on, brother, you should talk to your best friend for messing with your mama. You. you know, but actually, this is this is just unnecessary hate. You know, yeah. on and on. You know, it, it's, yeah. if, if anything, I'm saying they're not going to really come to fist of blows. You know, and right. they're not going to come. And, and it's one of those. Is we don't know what it, else. Like, there might be other, even more stuff that we don't know. We don't know if Will is, you know. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. that yeah. You know, know, so once again, but I don't anyway, know. But the, yes. the whole set. But anyway, what else is going on for this? We yes. talked about how, um, yes. as far as. This is going to be the oddest segue. We'll segue to business. Ah. Our entrepreneurship. Uh, 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 um, it's being, but you know what? That's kind of it. Being prepared for whatever. No, Being no, able no. To take certain care, certain take, things. You I can't can, be prepared. That my, my, my wife did what with my <laughs> son's best friend. What? What? My question is, did you know you was about to get interviewed about this? Was oh that a God. surprise? Or you agreed <laughs> to get interviewed about that? Because one of those, that's either just dumb or that's stupid. One Wait or two. a minute. Actually, in a way, we can. We did the interview thing. Okay, I, 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 I think I can okay. make this work. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Mm-hmm. I got blindsided years ago, and I have, I now I'm comfortable talking about it because it's okay. in the news. Uh-huh. I got blindsided because, you know, we're busy building a business and trying to do good things in the community and stuff right. like that and, mm-hmm. you know, overcome whatever adversities we've got. Well, I get blindsided because I get a call from somebody in the media saying that, you know, another tree service out there with a similar name right. is yeah. doing XYZ yeah. and wanted to know if mm-hmm. I was affiliated with them. And I was like, whoa, what? What? You know? Uh huh. And so I got blindsided and I had to make a choice. Yeah. Going back to fighting back. Uh huh. I could have fought back and I could have went on TV and said all these horrible things about this other person, right? Mm-hmm. Who happened to be a relative. But instead, I chose over the last 15 years to keep my mouth shut. Right. With the exception of a few Facebook posts, mm-hmm. which, by the way, if you want to find me on Facebook, I'd love to be your friend or just follow us. Follow us, uh, Donnie Jones Live, D O N I, Donnie Jones Live. Mm-hmm. Um, or you can just be a friend. I think I got like a thousand more spots. I don't know. But anyway, um, Donnie Jones. But um, I chose to take this opportunity to better myself. Like, how can we. Right be a better company so people will know that's not us. In fact, the gentleman that I just spoke to over the phone, one of my lead people, a few years ago, he came to me, he's like, you know, with everything in the news, do you think maybe we should change the name of the company? And I said, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. We're keeping our name. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue to make this name great. And that's exactly what we've done. We've Mm -hmm. worked hard to build our name so that when people think of us, they think of a good quality tree care. And that's been a blessing. And a few times if somebody gets us confused with that other company, I might lose a client because of that. 
but I always feel like it'll come back to me. Like right. it'll come back to um, tenfold if I just continue to do the right thing, continue to treat people right. So maybe mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur, you might get hit with something you weren't expect with. You might have a, a loss or you might have somebody in your, a key person in your organization die, or you might get sick and you've got to get yourself set up to where you're prepared for that. Two mm -hmm. minutes. So I didn't mean to say that. So <laughs> you got to be, I'm trying to be prepared. But one of the things you can do is by organizing your organization. And for me right now, I'm reading a book by the name of Traction and it's by Gino Wickman. I mentioned it before, but I, I didn't have for sure. I wasn't sure about the, um, the author, but his name is Gino Wickman. And what that what that book does is it takes you step by step on how to organize your company, organize the people in your company to set it up for success. Oh. And I think that's what a lot of people don't do in their organization is mm -hmm. set themselves up for, for success. success. Like they're so busy working in their business as opposed to working on their business. And oh, I think one of the like ways that. that you can prepare for the future is to work on your business as opposed to in your business. Right. I, I think you just said a mouthful and then I can't come back to say anything but that. Because I agree with you. I'm saying usually it's one of those you set me up and I can say, I agree. But you know what? Actually, yeah, um, you, being too busy doing the day to day processes of your business, you have to do a lot more forethinking, too. of like what 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 do I need to be prepared for? I think we kind of touched on it. We could touch on it on the other side of it, of being like I said, I went to the disaster relief you know, yeah. retreat. And in a sense, and at the same time in your business, what do you do in those disasters? Mm. You know, and, and, and what is your, you know, plan B, plan A, yeah. you know, and then, okay, working on the long term of my business, you know, what do you do when the, the market changes or shifts, yes. you know, like we do, like I do video, video and audio production. Yeah. But now everybody can do it with their phone. That's right. How do you shift the 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 business? But anyway, look, we'll talk about this on the other side of the break because we got yeah, some. I think we should we talk about that. that. Yeah. Talk about with this. So uh, just if you're just tuning in or just re wondering who you're listening to, you're listening to Donnie Jones live with Donnie Jones and me, Marty McFly, and uh, Marty McFly. Yes, and we'll be right back. Now when the weather starts to change, the rent to start to fall, who you gonna call? The tree service. If it's looking kinda weak and it's looking kinda bleak, who a tree specialist call? The tree service. If the trees in your yard are just too tall, who you gonna call? The tree service. Hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service on a Monday. They were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. 
God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous, on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donniejoneslive.com. Welcome back to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie, the tree lady, certified arborist, by the way, with that guy. That guy who's going to be taking the second chair on this segment. I'm going to sit over here on the left side. And, you know, back in the day, they had that Jerry Springer moment where, you know, he'd come on and talk at the last minute of what his really thoughts are. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be associated well, with I'm gonna be quick. things. I'm going to so be I'm quick. A, Cause, I'm just but you just here. jump in at any point that you want to jump in. Uh, all I'm going to say. Can I, can I just do this real quick? What? Public service announcement. The views of this segment do not blame the radio stations or YouTube or any other outlet. And yes. please do not ban us like you did yes. before. And I'm going to be very quick with this. All I am going to say is that I would like for the people that can hear my voice or see my face, if you're on YouTube or on any of the stations that we're on, to start thinking for yourself and to start doing research for yourself and stop hating your neighbor. And the reason why I'm saying that is because let's look back three years and see how all of this has panned out. Now, I would not be mentioning this if I did not have confirmation of what I said three years ago. I said, when the truth comes out, it's going to take three to five years to come out. But all this crazy stuff we're doing, all these needless shots, all this stuff is going to come out. And so it has come out that there's a strong possibility that this um, virus originated in a lab pertaining to gain of function, gain of function. There's another thing that came out that we knew and we've known probably for the last two years is that masks were not nearly as effective as they thought they were. In fact, let's just say not effective. Um, let's also just put out there that, hello, shutting schools down, not a good idea. Not a good idea. And our kids are paying for it. Another thing, and then we're going to move on. Another thing is that, you know, when I said something about this a couple years ago about the virus, I mean, the uh, vaccine, having issues uh, pertaining to myocarditis and pericarditis. People were telling me that I was crazy and that a conspiracy theorist and a anti-vaxxer, which I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but now they're talking about the fact that 30, that there's a 30% spike in heart attacks between kids, people aged 12 to 39. That is not normal. And the media refuses to attribute it to the COVID vaccine. So if you want to, whatever you want to do, uh, ban me or or mark this video or whatever you want to say, you can do that because the truth is going to continue to come out. And I want people, not just the American people, people all over the world to start thinking for themselves, look at the evidence. And by the way, know that there is truth, not the truth, but there is truth. So that's all. Now, for a more spiritual side of uh, our family. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let's see what's going on on the other side of the mic with Mr. Marty McFly. I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. I have no well, you know what? You can't actually, have actually, nothing. Actually, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do have something. You know, because oh, I'm actually speaking about it this week. You know, <clears throat> there's a there's a lady in the Bible. Uh -huh. that they call her. Oh, she just already gave me that look like, oh, we're about to do spirit, you know. But there's a lady in the Bible that people always associate with her of just being crazy or having a bad little reputation in her yeah. life. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, they, 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 when they talk about this, they talk about the woman at the well. Yes. You know, and Jesus spoke to this woman at the well, and uh, she had like five previous husbands and yeah. the one that she's with right now isn't her husband and everything. Yeah. And a lot of people associate this woman as having a promiscuous life. You know, mm. because it's like, well, you've been with five different right. men and this, this, you might not. And it's one of those things where <clears throat> you don't know other people's stories. That's right. You know, That's true. during that time, if you were married to an individual, to a man, and unfortunately, if that man died, then the brother was supposed to actually um, married you to take care of you and your right. his brothers. Yeah. You know, but if that brother died, then the other one had to take care of That's it. That's right. And it goes on. But not assuming that this woman had a bad life right you know and at the same time it, the bible actually never says what really occurred that she has these kind of people she might have right. been dealing with um one of the boaz brothers well, we don't know you never know you That's know right. and if you don't know about the boaz brothers you know it's, boaz was a good man in the in the old testament okay. but uh, you know the bible thing. way better than i do so yeah yeah so and i'm saying boaz with the z on the end of it but um you never know if this lady was dating one of his um his relatives. Right. You know, because right. a lot of people, I think right now, they still date some of his relatives, like broke ass, uh, uh, lazy <laughs> ass, you know, trifling ass, right. and, you know, the right. one that won't get up and work ass. You know, and I think that um, she might have dealt with five of them. Wow. And just said it didn't work out. You yeah. know, or she could have been barren, not being able to have children. That's and they, right. So in a sense, you look at an individual and you can, in a sense, you want to j put judgment on someone. Right, right. But you don't know their story. You don't know, you don't know what story. brings them to that point. That's right. So when you hear someone that's talking all crazy about conspiracy theories, you don't know really what brought them to that point. Right. What have they dealt with in right. their life that make you say, you know what, they're a little off. Yeah. You know, they might not be off. Right. Really, it's just because of their upbringing or what they're watching or believing. Right. You know, um, th they might not just be crazy. Right. I'll say like that. Well, here's the thing. You can't assume that the people are crazy. Right. You know? But what I will say is that we have been systematically kept out of certain conversations. So you have whole groups of communities that are making decisions about their body and about their health without all the information. Like you look at diabetes, you look at heart disease, you look at high blood pressure. Now, yes, there's facts on the Internet on, or, or in books on how you can alleviate those issues and you can get those health issues out of our community. But if you have a significant segment of our community not being exposed to the importance and the, the, the dire need for health and nutrition, then you're going to have people that don't take those matters into their hand. When you have people that are not exposed to other types of medicine, like you look at the way Asians uh, live, you look at the way Jamaicans live, you look at people from West of Africa and how they live and how they don't succumb to some of the crazy, stupid stuff that we do in our country as far as health is concerned. And you go, wow, why don't we study those people so we can see a more naturopathic way to health as opposed to just taking a shot or doing drugs every single time the government um, or so far the pharmaceutical company tells us we need to do a shot. So you're right. There are this, people this, that this time I, I don't I don't so know how my are. I don't know how my spiritual moment just went back to her. No, I'm saying about you were saying. No, but you were saying how people that, don't know better. So people that, made choices with their body and with their health because they just didn't know I better. I was in the religious aspect of don't put judgment on people. That you don't, you know, just you're reading a book by its cover. You don't know a woman's life when you just see her doing. And you went back to the whole, and that's why I said this wasn't a topic that, because I know you get passionate about it. And whatever else I had just said, I was talking about Jesus meeting this woman at the wheel and how they, and you just went a whole back to conspiracy. And they ain't doing nothing in China. They ain't educating us. And, and it's like, it just took it the whole different way. So I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm Marty McFly. I was trying to have a religious moment with y'all, you know, just go to church on Sunday, you know, pray to God and, you know, yeah, I totally uh, missed the mark on that one. Yeah, uh huh. Because you got passionate. passionate. So what about? But so the the uh -huh. issue is yeah. so the lady with the issue of blood. 
That, we don't know her story. Well, we know she had an issue of blood. Oh, we no, know her wait a minute. This is the lady at the well. She ain't even listening. No, I she just, it was the that's lady. the thing. People are waiting to lady. talk versus waiting to, to try to teach her listen. It wasn't the issue of blood. It was the, it was the well okay, lady. Yeah, that was. Uh, uh, and yeah, then people well, thought uh, that uh, it was a pr inappropriate for Jesus to be uh, hanging out with her, right? Uh, yeah, that's just. That's a whole different conversation. Yeah, you didn't spoke. To, women and men didn't really talk and stuff like that. She was a Samaritan woman, but that wasn't the point of the but I was talking about. It was people judging her. People judged her and her didn't know her life. story. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. Um, but did know, the community know her story? <laughs> Hit us up at one 888 That's 1-888-349-3664. If you got a comment or if you want to hear more about the inspirational moment, you know, give us a call. Please call um, Marty about the inspirational no, moment. No, no. Then when I say I ain't got nothing, I don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. Yeah. But we just going to just kind of eradicate everything you said because I want to get my point. Anyway, oh Donnie, God. have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'm going to just get on off the radio just you're listening to Donnie Jones Live. I am Marty I McFly. That's Donnie Jones, and we will see you next week. Yes, we will see you next week. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.